Hey guys, so I'm back with CK3, and I'm actually going to be playing with the Fallen Eagle mod this video. I've never actually played with this mod before. Um, from what I've seen, it looks pretty complex with um, trading and this kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sure how difficult it will be since I've never actually played it. I guess we'll see. And I'm also starting off with Soy Sans here because of um, why not. Somebody asked me to play as them, so I figured I'd do it. You know, why not? So looking at our character... He isn't the best by any means. He's a misguided warrior and his traits are all pretty bad. He's also pretty old and he doesn't have any kids. That's not the best either. Hopefully we can do something here. Our brother's an intrigue, so he sucks. And he's also going down the temptation focus, so he is not the best. Luckily, it looks like we actually start out with primogeniture, which means that we won't have to deal with succession at all. I think I am going to pass this one here because of being this low. Is pretty bad so let's bump it up there we go we have an option here to adopt autocratic ways which looks like it's a complete downgrade independent rulers use imperial competence and then with ours empire tier rulers use imperial competence which means that we'll gain this imperial competence thing which seems pretty bad honestly I think I'm gonna stick with um bureaucratic until I become an empire and then just take this one. I might as well talk about the goal for this campaign. I think an interesting goal would be like reuniting Western Rome. I don't know if that's going to be too difficult. Hopefully it won't be. Let's start off by taking out this guy. Here we go. Another one. We lost this war. God damn it, man. There we go. Oh my god, dude. Look at that. I'll never pay that off. Holy shit. I can't. I I literally can't surrender this war. That will kill me. I, I can't do that. So what I'm going to do here is break this betrothal. And then ally the Ostrogoths. Oh, I can't even ally them. Who else can I ally? Jesus Christ. I guess I'll ally this guy. Oh. This is why somebody wanted me to play as this person. I get it. I see how it is. How how am I supposed to fight this off? What's the war what happens if, if I lose? I lose all my land. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. There's there's nothing I can do about that. So what I think I'm going to do here is switch and play someone else. Because I don't think that this is a very good First Nation for me. Just being honest. I think what I'm going to do here is switch to this guy. My goal is going to remain the same with um restoring Western Rome. This is just way too much for me to deal with. This is basically a game over if I was playing an Iron Man. So, let's switch. Alright, here we are. So, we control Rome, which is why I actually picked him. Our guy is terrible. He's paranoid and craven, which are like, the two worst traits in the entire game, in my opinion. Hopefully, this is a lot easier than Soy Sans over here. So, first things first, I think I want to modify my contract to get religious rights protected, because this faith is actually hostile to mine, and like, I literally give him nothing more. I give him not a single extra troops so it's worth it i just fabricated a claim on this duchy here let's push it that was quick we might as well visit a bathhouse nice so we're switching from being roman to being italian this is out of my control it's literally an objectively worse culture for me that's unfortunate. Um, okay. Here we go. Oh my god, man. This sucks. All three of these traits are terrible. Out of the three, which one would I pick? Probably Shy, since he's going into Marshall. There we go, I guess. Another claim? This sucks. I don't know how I'm losing these wars with like such a huge troop advantage. 
And it's not like my special troops are like terrible in this like terrain either. I just don't get it. Maybe it's something with the mod, maybe it's not, I don't know. You know what? This sun is a lost cause. I was actually trying to get a different sun because of this guy is terrible, but but this one followed down basically the same exact road. You know? It's like Jesus man. I just can't get a good sun. Here we go. Nice. So the plan that I have right now is to first of all take everything I need to actually form this kingdom here. And the second plan is to take as much as I can away from this guy so, so it's a lot easier to get independent. Anyways. Nice. I was just looking at my lieges succession and it looks like if I kill his son... It'll go down to some random person. So I'm gonna kill his son. Here we go. Good stuff. I shouldn't have done that. I really hate this house feud crap that happens. Um, He doesn't even know that it was me. But yet I'm becoming his house feud rival. It's just stupid. Oh great. I guess I'm getting a new king here. The old guy that was on the throne died. I don't think I'm gonna fight for my freedom yet. Just because of like... It's going to be super messy with this guy, you know, just fighting this guy over here, and I just don't think it's worth it. I still have more people to conquer, so it should be okay regardless. Speaking of which... Nice. I'm going to kill my liege. He is way too strong for me right now, so like, he is way too strong for me to get free, so let's do it. Here we go. Nice. That was pointless. Apparently he just inherited his special soldiers, so... I can't declare war on him. He is way too strong, so... I guess I'll just sit back and wait. How the hell did this happen? Oh. That sucks, man. This is the perfect time to declare independence. He's already facing one faction. Let's, um, do our own. Holy shit, man. I can't get anything going this game. How does he have so many troops all of a sudden? He has a holy order, because somebody declared war on him, who's of a hostile faith. Nice. Oh, amazing. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Finally. After we take this duchy, I can form the kingdom of Sicily, so let's do it. There we go. And there we go. Alright, we're dead. He lived for a pretty long time. He lived to be 80. And we played with him for 50 years. So that's a pretty good amount of time. Now we're him. I don't even want to try to say this name. He's terrible. He's, he's shy, impatient, and ambitious. Which aren't the best... Um, traits for stress at all. Nice. I gotta say something here. This is super cool. They should really add this into, like, the main game here. Like, creating your own statue of yourself. This is sweet, man. Let's take out the rest of Sicily. There we go. Let's start taking pieces of North Africa. I have a Holy War for Kingdom CB that I can use, but I want to use it on the Visigoths, but I guess I don't have enough range. I think I'm going to take Sardinia and then take um these islands over here so I can have enough reach. Part 1. I'm going to put Part 2 on hold. I can't declare war on this guy. He has like an amazing alliance network, which I can't really deal with right now, so... I think I'm going to go down here and just like 
take out all these North African guys. There we go. Another one. I just found a big opportunity here, so so I don't think I'm gonna go for the Visigoths. I think I'm gonna take Provence from them, and I'm actually gonna use my Kingdom level Holy War CB on Aquitaine because like I can take much more land from them doing it that way. So here we go. Let's go for it. That sucks. He's dead. He was not the best. His traits were terrible. Now we're Federigo, who's a drunkard. Other than that, he's actually super good. He has 30 learning, which is amazing. His other traits are below average. He should be okay. And with his death, I can't do a holy war for a kingdom, so that kind of sucks. I just conquered the duchy to the north of me. And I saw this tiny little county, which is actually San Marino. I love this. They should add this in base CK3, honestly. Same with making Andorra its own, like, county. I think this is super cool, honestly. Let's take Tuscany. There we go. Alright, it's time. All right, finally. Boom. Here's a pretty big faction. It should be okay. Oh, never mind. I don't even know what happened there. Nice. I don't know how this happened. But it looks like a Saxon ruler migrated to Croatia. Um, this is actually good for me. I'm going to take this duchy away from him. I just took over Lombardy here. And I can vassalize two people here. Um, this guy who's huge. And Piedmont, which is decent sized. There we go. There we go. And we need nine more counties to form the Empire. Which sucks. Um, I don't really know how this guy is holding on to like these like randomly scattered provinces everywhere. That kind of sucks. Another claim. Here we go. We only need two more counties. I'm trying to fabricate a claim on Illyria here. Hopefully I get it before I die. I'd really like to form an empire here. Another guy's dead. I don't even want to try to say that name. He is decent. His traits are pretty good except for being lazy, but... It's not that bad of a trait, honestly. He's only 25. Hopefully he lives for a long time. So I just looked at the decision to actually form Western Rome. I need either an autocratic government form or a land government form. Reading this, it looks like it's impossible for us to get since we don't have feudalism um, known to us. And this one, honestly, I don't know how to get that one. I do know that Illyria had that one at one point. Let me click. It still does. Um, I really don't know how to get that. This is my first time playing the mod, so I think what I'm gonna do here is just like reform the borders and then call it there. Like, I can't do the actual decision, so I'm sorry about that. I only need one more promise to form the empire. I'm gonna take it from him. Here we go. Finally.
Another one. Nice. I might as well let you guys know. I took a break from recording this video for like a day. And I'm sick now, so... I'm pretty sure my voice is going to sound a little bit different. I'm sorry about that. Let's take out France here. That was quick. Apparently, I can do a Reclaim Relics War on this kingdom over here. I don't know what relics I'm actually reclaiming, but we might as well. You know, why not? Let's see what we get here. We get the Arm of St. George. I don't think that was worth it, honestly. Let's add by the sword to my culture. Let's clean up in France. There we go. Let's take this decision here. It doesn't do much for me, but, you know, why not? There we go. I'm also going to do this. I don't think it'll do anything like hostile for me, so why not? Here's a nice little LARP event. I think I'm going to take it because I'm actually trying to restore Western Rome, so let's do it. There we go. And now we have a Senate to deal with, which isn't the best. Let's start pushing into England. Nice. Let's take the rest of England. Here we go. We're dead. Now we're playing as Federigo, who's pretty good. Besides the fact that he has the shy trait, which is pretty bad. A lot of guys over here just got independent. I'm going to sweep them up. There we go. Nice. So looking back at the decision to actually um, reunite Western Rome, it looks like being bureaucratic will actually work for it. All we need is the Duchy of Illyria and the Duchy of Venice, which, which are both owned by the Kingdom of Illyria. I'm just going to take these guys out before the Byzantines do it instead. There we go. Nice. And now we just need this one more province, so this doesn't look good for me at all. I forgot that this would actually happen. Um, I'm not sure if I can fend this off. Can I kill him? I can kill him. I'm not going to do it yet, but just know that I could if I wanted to. All right, here we go. There we go. And here we go. Sweet. Looking at this decision here, I don't know what this will do. Reconquer territory will be reintegrated. Um, I guess we'll see. Apparently I add this. Okay. I don't know what that did. It must have been like something regarding my kingdom title rank maybe. Here's another decision here. This seems kind of OP. Counties in Aquitaine and Burgundy have a 75% chance to convert to your culture. That's like a lot of provinces. Um, Let's do it and see. There we go. It looks like nothing actually happened. So, I don't know if that's like a bug with the mod or what. But, yeah, nothing happened. Let's continue to push into Iberia. There we go. Federigo's dead. He was a pretty good ruler. Now we're playing as Gaston. 
who's pretty good also. He's intelligent, so we might as well create a monument here. She's saving up my money to get the gold because, like, the buffer gold is amazing. So here we go. There we go. Another one. There we go. Let's take this decision here. There we go. And now there's a new kingdom here, which is pretty cool. I conquered some more land down here in like southwestern Germany because I saw this event here, which doesn't look like it'll give me much, but there is a 25% chance that I get a strange artifact, which I'm kind of interested in. So hopefully I get it. Let's see. I don't think I got it. I just usurped this guy's kingdom over here, and he's like fractured. I can actually vassalize a few of these guys, so let's do it. There we go. There we go. I'd also sign a gift here. Nice. And here we go. So I think all we have left is Wales and this piece of um Spain. Honestly, I don't really want to make the borders perfect. I feel like shit, so I'm not willing to freaking look at a map and do this you know i just want to get it over with so in 10 years i'll declare war and um take wales gaston is dead all right this is the final war all right and there we go here we are so obviously we are Western Rome. We have 453 counties, which is quite a bit. It's like more than 200 more than the Eastern Roman Empire. Looking around at the rest of the world, Scandinavia has formed, which is pretty cool. The Rashidans are doing terrible and barely any land has converted to um being Muslim. The Sassanids are doing okay. The Guptas are pretty big. Other than that, there's like a few big guys over here. And there's nothing else that's too interesting. I think the most interesting thing is that two African faiths actually reformed this game. So, Bidaic reformed, and so did Waki here, which is pretty cool. There's still a majority, like, Jewish population in Arabia here. Um, other than that, there's this Aryan faith, which is pretty cool. There's also this religious Roman faith that somehow spread to, like, this part of Sweden and you know, parts of Denmark and Germany. I don't know how this happened, but looking at cultures, um, I can tell you what's different, honestly. I don't really know the cultures. But yeah, if you guys have any other ideas for videos, just let me know. And thank you for watching.